Hello YouTube. Today I want to show you my emergency power station that I've uh, put together. It's a number of months in the making and it'll be used for, you know, power outages or long-term power outages. It's currently configured with four 100 amp hour batteries for a total of 400 amp hours and a 2000 watt inverter. It's um, only uh, connected to this uh, medium size refrigerator at the moment but it's doing a you know a great job in running that and there's actually a lot more capacity that i could be running a lot more things in the backyard at the moment i have three 100 watt harbor freight panels that are connected in parallel and they are charging the battery right now at about 218 watts or plus 16 amps going into the battery there's uh, just uh, to let you know, there are parasitic, what I call parasitic, uh, you know, draws the uh, between the Renogy and the uh, Renogy charge controller. It it pulls about 15 watts. So right now it's probably making about 232 to 233 watts from the panels but that parasitic charge is eaten up by the inverter and the controller so that's left over with like 217 218 right now going into the batteries we had a couple days of rain that's why the batteries got a little bit lower but we got quite a bit of sun today maybe a little bit of haze in the sky that's why uh you know it's not up in the 100 280 to 290 watt range but it's doing pretty good at you know gonna top off those batteries or get pretty close to topping them off today so now i'm gonna go into showing you uh you know how i built it and then when that's done we'll come back and i'll uh, show you some improvements that were made to it Good afternoon on YouTube. I'm building my uh, emergency power uh, solar backup wall today and uh, it's just going to be on this 2x4 frame with a half inch OSB on it, 2 feet by 4 feet. Uh, right in here where this hole is cut out, this is where the Renogy uh, 40 amp um, charge controller will be. Right below that will be uh, 20, uh, 50 50 uh, amp uh, breaker for the battery charge voltage right here this will be a, a red terminal board a black terminal board right in this area is going to be the the Renogy 2000 watt uh, pure sine wave inverter and this hole is cut out because there there's an air intake there comes in in the bottom and gets blown out the fans on the top uh, right down here is going to be the uh, the Renogy 500 uh, battery monitor, and right next to it, it'll be where its shunt is. Okay, up in this area right here, this is going to be a uh, a 12 volt to 24 volt inverter, which I'll put 20 volts to a, a little uh, console panel here, and we can plug uh, you know things in that need 24 volts. And then right below that is going to be a uh, another uh, panel with uh, 12 volts on it and USB charging. Both of these have a voltmeter and an on-off switch on them. And down here will be the fuse block that the, the battery 12 volts will go to the, you know, the 12 volt station and to the uh, 12 volt, the 24 volt, uh, you know, inverter. Additionally, right in this area is where the, uh, the a 200 amp uh, fuse is going to be for the battery positive voltage. And right down here is going to be the uh, battery cutoff switch. I'm going to start installing the, uh, the 12 volt, the 24 volt inverter and the uh, 24 volt control panel. So you see the... Uh, the color scheme is going to be 12 volts is red and black and 24 volts are is going to be yellow and black all right we got the 24 volts now installed and now we're going to install the uh, 
the 12 volt uh, power panel and the uh, fuse uh, box. The 12 volt panel and the fuse box is installed. Now I'm going to install the uh, 50 amp breaker for the battery charge voltage and the black terminal board. Okay, I got the uh, 12 and 24 volts wired up. We have the 12 volts coming from the terminal board on the front comes down through the fuse box and then it'll come up into the 12 volt power panel and then the other one comes up here to the uh, the 24 volt inverter 12 volt to 24 volt so red and black going in is 12 volts yellow and black coming out is 24 volts and here's the 12 and 24 volts wired into the uh, terminal boards on the front okay I got the the positive line coming in from the battery installed the, the battery cable will hook up here and then from the uh, the battery cutoff switch I'm actually using you can see twin two gauges two two gauges so it goes from the battery cutoff through these two uh, two gauges to a 200 amp fuse and then through another set of two two gauges to the positive uh, positive terminal board and uh, what I'm using is the uh, the Jupiter inverter cable set it's a six foot set and it's like thirty eight dollars from uh, Harbor Freight and then I just cut it you know and re-terminate it you know for the, the custom sizes I need okay I've got the uh, the shunt now installed here's the shunt and it's wire connected and it's power and the uh, the black wires made and and into the black terminal board and over here is the uh, the you know the control panel and display for the uh, Renergy 500 battery monitor here's the back of the shunt so we got the, the red wire, the power wire comes up here to the red terminal board and then the, uh, the shunt connects via this black wire into the back of the control panel. Just finished installing the uh, red battery cable and the 2001 inverter. Uh, this Renogy 2001 inverter came with a three feet uh, twin uh, four gauge cable so I just used the cable I provided and connected it to the uh, red and black bus bars the charge controller is installed to uh, the 50 amp circuit breaker to the red uh, terminal board and the black terminal board so the only thing left to do is uh, hang it on the wall and connect it to the battery Hi, now that you've seen how it was all put together originally, let's talk about the improvements I've made since then. The original system had just one WISE 100 amp hour battery. Now I'm up to four of the WISE 100 amp hour batteries and they're just doing just great. And uh, originally I had them uh, uh, tied together in a normal parallel. Yeah, each one, you know, wires going from one to the other and then to the next one and then to the next one. But after watching a uh, a video by Will Prowess from the DIY Solar, he said the best way to do it, and I agree, is to hook all your batteries individually to a terminal board or a terminal strip. So I uh, added two additional larger terminal strips and each one of the batteries goes to you know the red and black terminal strip and then from there it goes to you know the uh the shunt and the battery cutoff switch another addition i added was down there a bluetooth module that hooks to the the renergy charge controller i've also added a 60 amp a uh, breaker for the solar input okay and last but certainly not least because in the winter here in wisconsin the sun doesn't shine a lot 
So I added the Ames Power, you know, 75 amp charger. And that'll connect to a, uh, a, a Harbor Fate Predator 2000 watt um, inverter generator when needed to top off the batteries when there's been multiple days in a row with no sun. And that goes through a 100 amp breaker and down to both the red and black terminal boards. Now one additional improvement I plan on making that I haven't done yet is down here. Instead of plugging things directly into the bottom of the inverter, down here I'm gonna move the Bluetooth and I'm gonna put a uh, like a double gang box there with four outlets. And then I'm gonna uh, wire a plug from two of the three outlets in the inverter down to power each one of the two uh, the two outlets down here, so it's easier to you know plug power into the inverter. Uh, thank you for watching, and if I make any other additional changes, I'll do an update. But this is how it stands as now: my 400 amp hour emergency power station. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed the video.